Hawaii can not only be paradise, the island can also be a mentor. And Heather Brown, who does not just use water as a subject for her paintings, she absorbs and lives in it. The 36-year-old artist from California whose artwork has been exhibited in galleries around the world has called Hawaii home for 10 years. We caught up with the passionate and laid-back water artist at her home studio on the North Shore of Oahu. I've been an artist ever since I was a kid and I was always making art and um, it wasn't until I moved to Hawaii I started going to art school at UH and um, it was at the same time that I was learning how to surf. Um, it's funny, I, waited, I always loved surfing but it took me so many years to finally learn. My teachers always were discouraging of making surf art, you know, so they're always pushing conceptual style art. So it wasn't until I actually graduated where I felt, oh, I'm free, I can paint now whatever I want. And, um, and I was surfing more at that time, and so I would go and I'd surf all day and come back home to my house and just start painting, you know, everything that I would like see throughout the day, like colors and shapes of the waves and just kind of relive that happy feeling, you know, that I would get in the ocean and surfing and I feel like that happy energy kind of would go into my paintings. And it was seven years ago I had my very first show in Hawaii at the Surf Art Show at Wyland here on North Shore. And um, it all started from there and it was at that point where I felt like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna quit my job. I was working as a dive master and a captain at this little dive shop on North Shore and uh, I thought, what am I doing? I need to, I went to school, I spent all this time and energy and making art, it's my passion, it's what I love to do. You know, I'm gonna try to make this happen. So I just dove into it head first and worked 10, 12 hours a day, like sometimes till like four in the morning painting, just, you know, creating, pieces and approaching galleries and stores to see if they want to sell it and, and it just took off and it's been getting better and better ever since. And she has never looked back since. Hawaii is definitely where her heart belongs. I feel like I'm a sponge here, you know, I'm always just like, even if I'm not surfing, I'm, I'm watching other people surf and like if it's big waves and it's too big for me to go out, you know, I'm just like in awe, like <gasps> there's so much like raw energy and power out there and it's just so beautiful how people can surf on the waves like that and just looking around at the natural beauty around us, you know, the tropical flowers, the beautiful mountains, the rainbows, like everything that's just beautiful and precious of Hawaii, I just, I grasp it in my memory and put it out on the painting. <laughs> I love the creation process. I love working with my hands and making my ideas come to life on canvas. But I've found more and more, I'm more happy now when I see the response that it gets with people. You know, so many people tell me how my art makes them feel power, energy, or peaceful, or happy. and and. That just blows me away, you know, like that I can have so much of an impact to so many people around the world, you know, making people happy with my art, and that inspires me. And her inspiration is transferred to canvas. It's happy, it, it makes you feel good, it's vibrant with color. Um, sometimes there's pieces I do that remind me of stained glass, you know, how there's black lines around shapes and it almost seems like the color glows within that. Um, you know, it's almost like pop art in a way. You know, it's hard to say one word to describe it. There's so many ways. If that's not enough, she's also a printmaker, building a name for herself with prints for the Triple Crown and famous musician Jack Johnson. 
I love painting on canvas, but it's just neat to, to put art on, you know, everyday household things, utilitarian things, you know, why not? Like, we have tote bags, we have like reusable water bottles, and, and also it's a way to, you know, make an effect on the environment, you know, if people are, have a reusable water bottle that they love the art on, they love to use it, hey, they might not buy plastic bottles so much anymore. A reusable shopping bag, they might not use plastic bags in the stores. So it's, we, we try to be always really environmentally conscious with anything we make or recycled products. Um, it's really important to us. So us means her boyfriend slash manager, Chris, with whom she lives and works at her house in Mount Alani Heights. So we use all pallet woods for all of our frames and frames for Heather's art and um, that we sell. And the reason we do is we have a really large problem with um, pallets here in Hawaii is that everything that we have in Hawaii gets shipped over here by boat and is all on a, a pallet like how we see and we're standing on and lots of our uh, buildings and structures are actually made out of them. Um, so what we've decided to do uh, is start using them to make frames. So we have a few people that we work with um, here on our property at the studio that help us make frames out of these. It's 100% eco-friendly, reclaimed wood, reclaimed water-based paints, all handmade. Um, every process is done completely by hand. Made in Hawaii. I do think that everybody should have a, a form of art, you know, that they like. And, you know, not everybody has a lot of money to, like, for example, buy a painting that's $10,000, you know. If someone loves my art and they want to have it, I want it to be, to have all different price levels so that they can get things that, that they like and make them happy. Heather is already famous in Hawaii, California, New York, and Tokyo, where she sells her illustrations from $30 up to $15,000 for an original. But it's everything all together that's made her dream come true but I feel like already I'm at a point where like I have a dream life, you know, like I'm doing what I love and making people happy with my art and I just want to continue that and um, continue to be creative and striving to improve and just make more paintings that just keep getting better and better through the years. We are sure to see more from this eternally positive artist and genius Heather Brown in the coming years all over the world. Aloha.